Okay, so good day, day everyone. So let's now have the module six. And the module six is all about the civil technology. And we all know that civil technology that is either, this is all about building construction. So it is either building construction, either wood work or concrete work. But for today's session for module six, we will be focusing on the woodwork. Okay, so that is carpentry. Because we all know that carpentry is all about woodworking, building on something using woods. Okay, so we have here carpenter. A carpenter is the one to do the work in woodworking. Carpentier, it is an old French word, which means a carpenter. Carpentrius, it is meaning a maker. So that's the Latin. Carpentrius, the Latin of maker. And it is maker of a carriage. Okay. So let me ask somebody from your class. Somebody from your class. What do you mean by maker of carriage? Are now Amado Alcaide. Can you please tell me why carpentry is referred to maker of a carriage? How about Gorgonia Jenny? Can you tell me something why carpentry is a maker of a carriage? What's the connection? To carpentry of this maker of carriage and Jinky Delicos. Also, same question why carpentry is referred to maker of carriage. So, can you tell me? Something about this. Rubilin Bellaro and Quizon Aiko. Okay, so another is Bicamhon Rachel. Please tell me why carpentry is a maker of a carriage. Why carriage? Okay, so you just stop the comment your answer. Here in the here in YouTube. Okay, so let's now go on. Carpentry is the art of combining pieces of lumber to support weight or to resist pressure. Okay, so again, when we speak of carpentry, it is uh, it, it it is mentioned a while ago that it is a maker of carriage and I asked some of your classmates why it is a maker of carriage. So here carpentry is defined as an art. Why art? Why carpentry is an art of combining pieces of lumber? Why there is an art? Jocelyn de Gabriel. What's the connection of this art to carpentry? Why is it that the meaning here is it is the art of combining pieces of lumber? Okay, Devina Pandario, same question. And same question also to God Bilau Ani and Jezebel Alejo. Okay. okay, so in carpentry, 
we have here, it uses, we made mention here in the definition that it, that it uses lumber. So what is a lumber? It is a timber sewed into boards, planks, or other structural members of standard or specified length. Okay, so lumber. We also have here a timber, the wood of trees cut and prepared for us as building materials. So timber, it is, what is the difference now of lumber and timber? Okay, so I'll join what is the difference between lumber and timber. How about Chantal Bernabe? What is the difference between the two? Again, you just have to comment or answer. How about you, Leon Drosesario? What's the difference between the two? Same thing, same question to Edeline the Burian. Okay. Okay, so let's now have the principles of mensuration and layout. So steps in laying out weeds. Measure. And mark off the desired width using a bench rule and extension rule, a steel square, or a flexible steel plate to divide and mark for it. So this is all about principles of mensuration and layout. But but first, before we re we finish all of the steps in laying out. Reads, I want to ask Nicole Lyra May Galib why mensuration and layout is important in building construction or in carpentry or in any woodwork. What is the essence of this mensuration? Same question to Jari Bugtong. Same question also to Janeline Gipay. Okay. And Mangado Chinky, same question. What is the essence of principles of mensurations and layout? I also want to ask the same question. To Jessa Aniban and then Darilin Pechera. Also to Dessa Pahantoy. Okay, so to those who were not called, you can also just think of an answer. Why? Why mensuration and layout is important in carpentry. Okay, so let's now continue. Steps in laying out weeds. Measure and mark off the desired width using a bench rule. Simply a ruler. But of course, it depends on the width. Or it depends on the thing that you're going to measure. If the weed is too thick, then of course you will be using other than this bench rule. Okay, so it's either the bench rule, extension rule, the steel square, or a flexible, flexible steel tape to divide and mark a board. Mark the weed layout on the board using a rule or steel square so there is really a need for us in doing 
um, measuring these kinds of tools for us to be able to make sure that secure is Okay, so as you see here in the picture, this is how we do the measuring. For number, for letter B, steps in laying out length, square a line across the end of the board where there are no gaps. Okay, I want to ask, I want to ask Lisa Alguera, James Gallit, Geneva Malangete. Why you are going to square a line across the end of the board where there are no rocks? Okay, same question also to same question also to Jose Bantasan, Kaya Alcera, and Christina Carpio. So, okay, so I want you to think why you need to do this thing in an area in which there are no crops. Place the blade of the steel square against the edge of the board. Mark off the desired line against the tongue of the steel square, the surface of the board. Okay, for number two, lay out the desired length with a bench rule, an extension rule, or a flexible steel tape. Number three, square the line, just mark by placing the blade of the steel squarely, firmly against the edge of the board while marking the desired line against the tongue of the square on the surface of the board. So, if you have already seen this, like for example, the this flexible steel tape, then you will see there that, that the end part, the last part of that tool is there is this metal part in which this is this metal part, this is the thing, it's like a blade, then that is the thing that you are going to place firmly against the edge of the board. So sometimes if if you do this kind of work, like the measuring, that part will just hold the, will help you hold the one that you are measuring, okay? To make sure of the accuracy of your work. <clears throat> firmly, so when we speak of firmly, so make sure that, that you place the blade that in which it will not move easily because if the blade will move easily if there will be some unnecessary movement when you measure an already then of course it will affect your measurement to the to the point that your measurement is not accurate so of course if your measurement is not accurate then we will not just we will not just only be wasting our time because the person will be doing it again. Also, our effort, not just our time, effort, but also our resources. Because once, once we were not able to get the accurate measurement, then the tendency is we will be repeating our work. So again, waste of time, waste of resources, waste of effort. Okay. So of course, you don't want to just put everything into waste. So you have to take note of the principles of menstruation and layout. Okay. Okay, so steps engaging with and Okay, so number one, 
is set up the marking gauge to the distance you want to mark and check the setting against a rule, just like what we see now in the picture. To make the marking on the surface of the wood, push the marking gauge forward while holding its head firmly against the edge of the board. So take note, in marking the surface of the wood, you have to push the marking gauge forward. So a marking gauge, there is this blade. It's like there is, there is a pointed part in order to mark the area in which you're going to, to be used. Okay, so again, take note that in marking the surface of the wood, you are you have to push the marking gauge forward, not backward, not even sideward. Okay, so again, you have to follow the steps because if not, then you will be wasting. Again, not just resources, but also effort and time. Okay, next. Principles of mensuration and layout is still measuring and marking with a flexible rule. See to it that the hook of the push pull pull is held at the right end of the stop. So again, make sure that it will hold the wood firmly because if it will not hold the wood firmly, if there are unnecessary movement of the hook, then again, we will not get an accurate measurement that will lead to what? That will lead to what? Juanito Liogo. If you are not going to firmly, if you are not going to firmly put the hook of the push pull rule, what do you think will happen? The yoga Juanito Marin Esplago. Same question. Same question to Geneva Manangit Manangite and James Gallet. Okay, measuring for with using the bench rule, see to it at the end of the bench rule is in line with the base edge before marking. A rule and pencil may be used for gauging width by holding the bench rule to the desired wedge using the finger as the gauge and the pencil as the marker. So laying out a measurement with the rule on edge is an accurate way of measuring and indicating the dimension for its graduation, and it can easily be marked to the stack. Because what do we have in a ruler? What do we have in a ruler? We have centimeter and inches. So the graduation that we are having here it is in centimeter. So every distances we can measure every distances because of its graduation. Okay. So that's the essence of having a ruler. So setting dividers for a desired radius is done for an accurate setting of compass dividers to dimension. 
by dividing a board into equal parts is one of the shortest methods of dividing distance of a board. It can be done by placing the ruler diagonally to the desired number of parts. So steel measuring tape is made of flexible with standard measuring graduation. One edge in the blade is in metric system and the other side is in English system. So can you give me again an example for metric system measurement and metric system? Jo Joy at the heart. And also in English system. Can you give an example for metric system and English system? Measurements, unit of measurement, joy at the heart. And then same question to same question to Menchi or Rua. Okay, so guides on measuring lumber. So again, what is a lumber? Lumber is a timber prepared for a particular work. Okay, that is the material to be used now in making woodwork. So number one, the thickness and width of lumber is in inches. Okay, take note that the thickness and the width of the lumber is in inches, while the length is in feet of even length. Again, the thickness and width is in inches, while the length is in feet. 